So I wanted to show you a little thing. So I recently went on like a mini vacation on Vancouver Island and they had a art studio tour. Ended up getting this clever little structure here. Behold, the only house that we will ever afford. It's made from the handle of a butter knife, copper roof, very fancy, dangly thing. And the best part is that she's using these pennies for all sorts of things. I guess made by Amanda Rush. With the pennies, she'll like pound them out so that they're rounded and then make little mushrooms with them. And I thought that looked so freaking cool because copper is really cool. So maybe that's something that I would do with my pennies that I don't know what to do with. And it's always awkward going to like um, artist studios and stuff like that. It's kind of like taking free samples. Like it feels rude to look and just walk away. <laughs> so I guess we felt like we needed to get something from somebody. Yeah, not been vlogging at all. Regular same old, same old things that are probably just getting repetitive. I was invited very last minute to do a street craft fair festival thing. Did do the Stewart Farm thing and we got rained out, but it was okay because the rental fee is like really low. <laughs> so um, I usually have a good time there no matter what. And my booth neighbor Dana gave me this cute little bee that she made from, I guess, like plastic lids and valves and stuff. I guess you could say I've been really admiring the whole like recreation claimed sculpture. Another thing that I finally did was redo my table because the white vinyl that was on it getting kind of ratty. <laughs> Got all the vinyl off. I think there's a little bit of sticky kind of stuff going on here. But other than that, I'll probably stain it. The only color I have is this. So it's a little dark, but I kind of try to rearrange again. <laughs> it's getting a little insane. But also because I have all of the printer and scanning below, maybe the printer will fit here. I don't know. So <laughs> I ended up moving this up there because it doesn't fit down there. But I decided to put the printer on top because I'm tired of trying to load paper in it from the side. But I'm just going to try this for now. It's, it's just hard to get readjusted. I started a daily journal a couple months ago out of this really cute day planner. I'll probably use the peach tober prompts on the side just to like give myself a little help on days where I can't think of anything. But the one thing that I'm enjoying about it is that it does force me to be a little bit more open to anything that I can think to draw. Uh, if I'm really tired, I, I allow myself to just do a little bit of collage and it's a lot faster. <laughs> and sometimes I literally forget and I have a really bad time. I like this page. I was waiting for a bus and a bunch of pigeons took off overhead and it made like this weird shadow effect, which I liked. And so I just wanted to draw pigeons. And on this side, I just decorated it with a rubbing from a woodcut that was at uh, my sister-in-law's house. I thought it was really cool. So I just took a rubbing. Um, it's really fast and it fills a page, but it also does the job of recording something from my day. So every time I look at this page, I'll remember our little trip. Look at that butt. What a butt. Incredible.
Another interactive thing was the scratch and sniff. So you watched a video from the perspective of a bee, and then you scratch in order the numbers to see what that bee is smelling. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was really clever. Four is kind of nice, but some of these other ones are disgusting. I guess the bee's life is not that glamorous. The inspiration for the angelfish painting, I wanted to do two paintings actually. One that represents the sun, and one that represents the moon, and this is the moon piece. And if I looked up in the tarot card uh, book for inspiration, I think the moon was an unknown journey. Taking a risk and going somewhere unfamiliar that is kind of dangerous and could be very risky. But you may also see very beautiful things if you're lucky. So I painted the angelfish with the moon using metallic gold paint and I have night blooming flowers in the background. But they're also being suspended by fishing hooks, so he has to be very careful when going around these flowers. The background pattern is like a mill foil. Yeah, so this painting just kind of started out with a little doodle of my friend's angelfish. Then I just decided to turn into something more uh, based on his really shiny silver dollar with like a gold highlight, which made me think of the moon. So I guess that's the whole point of this daily sketchbook is that I am taking really small experiences and things that I see and giving some like personal value to them. So that when I draw these things casually, it feels less like work or study and makes drawing a lot more fun and easier to talk about. <laughs> 